think my thoughts. In by-election after by-election, reason to celebrate. The most politically significant were in Gujarat and Telangana. As in Madhya Pradesh, by-elections were necessary in Gujarat because Congress MLA switched sides and then contested again, this time as BJP candidates. The BJP won all eight seats that went to the polls. Congress Janta se vimuk hai, Janta ka pura viswas Congress kho bethi hai, Congress dubti nahiya hai, kyunki desh bhar mein parinam Congress ke khilaap hai, Bihar mein bhi NDA aage hai, netrutwa vihin Congress hai. Meanwhile, a setback for the young newly appointed state Congress chief, Hardik Patel, as the Congress continues to flounder in the BJP stronghold. Sweet victory after three consecutive electoral defeats for the BJP's Raghunandan Rao in the Bakabai poll in Telangana. The ruling TRS said defeat in Dubaka should be taken as a wake-up call, not to be complacent. The Congress, that had hoped Dubaka would be a turning point for its fortunes in the state, ended a distant third. In Karnataka, the results of the two assembly bipoles did not matter in terms of stability of the ruling BJP in the House. But the party is happy to have added both seats to its numbers. In Rajarajeshri Nagar, the BJP's Muniratna won by over 57,000 votes. He had represented the seat earlier as a congressman and was one of the MLAs who switched loyalties to the BJP last year, leading to the fall of the coalition government in the state. In Sira, the BJP's Dr. Rajesh Gowda won the seat with an almost 13,000 vote margin. This is the first time the BJP has won this seat, left empty after the death of the sitting Janata Dal secular MLA. It is a boost for the party in a belt that has been traditionally with the Congress and the JDS. The Congress was runner-up in both seats. In Uttar Pradesh too, the BJP held on to all its six seats, the Samajwadi party retaining one. However, the chief minister saw a larger message in today's results. Not just in UP, but Bihar too. Bihar Vidhan Sabha ke chunao ke saathi dees ke bivinna rajyon ka chunao par janta ki ये मोहर है जनता ने प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व को उनकी प्रेरणा को एक बार फिर से स्वीकारा है और मैं इसके लिए प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी का हृदय से अभिनंदन करता हूं हरियाणा वाज द ओनली डिसअपॉइंटमेंट फॉर द बीजेपी इट वाज अ सेकंड कंसेक्यूटिव लॉस फॉर ओलंपियन रेसलर योगेश्वर दत्त इन द बाईपोल टू द बरोडा असेंबली इन हरियाणा अभी देखेंगे कि भाई कहां कमी थी कुछ कमी हमें अमीर में होगी तो हम लोगों की उम्मीद तो खाली उतर पाए लोग हमें ऐसा नहीं करते The Congress candidate Induraj Narwal won the seat by a margin of over 10,000 votes. Baroda falls in the former Chief Minister Bhupinder Singh Hooda stronghold. And a victory here will only help the former Chief Minister emerge stronger, not only in the internal politics of the Congress, but even in the politics of Haryana. Meanwhile, the BJP state president compared Yogeshwar's defeat to the slaughter of Abhimanyu. State by-elections may depend largely on local issues. But there is a national message in these results that cannot be ignored. The BJP is making inroads even in states and constituencies where it has not traditionally been strong. And, with a few exceptions, paying the price for this is the Congress. With Bureau Inputs, Maya Sharma for NDTV.